Hello again. Um, I wasn't very happy with the uh, first step of the Fandango that I did yesterday, so I thought I would do it again and try it in a slightly different way. But I'm going to start off with the warming up that I did yesterday. Standing with your feet more or less under your hips, both feet pointing in the same direction. Bend your knees, drop your pelvis towards the ground, soften in the ankles, bounce up and down gently so that you loosen in the ankles and the knees and in the hips. Get your back nice and straight, tailbone dropping. So that kind of elastic looseness. And the other bit of warming up that I'd like you to do is taking your heels off the ground. So keeping your head level, just rise up so that you take your heels off the ground. Try not to let your ankles drop outwards. This will improve your balance as well as your core stability, as well as your leg strength. And it's absolutely essential for your application to the Royal Ballet. So you can combine that bending in the knee and coming up, taking the heels off the ground. If, if you get tense and tight, just shake loose, shake your feet out. Try it again a few times. Okay, the Fandango. The music of the Fandango is in three time. You can count it in threes or in sixes is actually easier in a way for what we're going to be doing for now. And the rhythm of the music goes dum da dum da dum dum. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's a strong accent on the one and there's another quite strong accent on the four. And there's a syncopation, there's a stretch, there's a delay. So the one is quite long, and then the two, three come quite quickly in quick succession. So the way that you do the step reflects that in the music. So to take the step very slowly, we're going to step onto one foot, just mirror me, step and then hop. You step and push into that foot so that you hop. Step, hop, and then what you do is the foot that's free when you've hopped comes across the front. It goes step, hop, cross, and you actually put weight on that foot that's crossed over the front. You go step, hop, cross, so that the foot that's behind is now free. Step, hop, cross. The foot that's behind that's free pushes out to the side and pushes against the floor to such an extent that your weight comes very slightly off the standing leg. So you go push, replace, and then put that leg that's out to the side, it goes behind. And then the foot that's in front, you pick it up and you do a push into the ground, step, hop, cross the other one over the front, push out to the side, replace, put that foot behind. Step, hop, cross, push, replace, 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 behind. When you're actually dancing this, you don't want to be moving forwards and backwards or from side to side. I know when I'm, I'm describing it, you can see that my feet seem to be moving a lot forwards and backwards. It's just to try to make clear what's going on. You also don't want to be moving when you do that side step or the side push, step, hop, cross. When you push out to the side, don't take all your weight out there because you're going to have to bring it all the way back again. See how my axis, when I do that, it moves over there and has to come back. You actually want your axis to stay kind of central, forward and back and side to side. So you're gonna go step, hop, cross, push, replace behind. It's not quite river dance. You don't want to be rigid about it, but think of keeping that core, which is all your body weight, in one place and your feet move around underneath it. Step, hop, cross, out and behind. Step, hop, cross, out and behind. Exactly where the out goes, I don't mind. I don't know if in the Basque dancing there is a correct way to do this. I do it in the way that's comfortable and economical because it's a, a high energy dance. So you do try to economize on the energy Unless you've got lots to waste. Some people have. Step, hop, cross, out and behind. Step, hop, 
cross, out and behind. Step, hop, cross, out and behind. Step, hop, cross, out and behind. If you do it in that rhythm, you can practice it to waltz music, for example, slow waltz music, but that takes out the syncopation. It's quite good for just practicing step, hop, cross, out, to get that sequence out and behind. Step, hop, cross, out and behind. Step, hop, cross, out and behind. If you want to put the syncopation in, it's going to go step, hop, cross, out and behind. Step, hop, cross, out and behind. Step, hop, cross. So that all that's is speeded up is the hop, cross. Kind of the step was longer and the hop, cross got quicker. But you'll also find when you dance this faster to speed, that it becomes very important when you do that push step out to the side that you really do push into the floor to give yourself the spring that's needed to get you back on time. So step, hop, cross, out and behind, step, hop, cross, out and behind, step, hop, cross, push 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 and behind. Okay, fine. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to film that step in slow motion without any music. It will look quite weird, but if you really are struggling to see what my feet are doing or when they're coming off the ground, this may help. Let's try and see. So the next thing we're going to do is practice that um, first Fandango step to slowish waltz music. Um, and um, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, so that was the slow waltz, and now we're going to practice that uh, first fandango step to slowed down fandango music. The same piece that I used for the dance on the balcony, it's um, Danny Detemecker. Um, it really doesn't sound that great slowed down, but at least we get the correct, something like the correct rhythm, but so that slow enough so that you can try and pick up the step. Um, you might be able to see that I am deliberately trying to emphasize the one and the four, the one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, because that's what's different about fandango music as opposed to a waltz, which is very much more even in the spacing of the beats. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? session, which I said in yesterday's session, is that, um, in case you haven't noticed, this is danced with the weight off the heels. If you are just practicing the movement and you go step, step, hop, cross, out and behind, you can get away with marking the position of the feet with your feet flat. But once you start to dance, your heels have got to be off the ground, really. Occasionally they might bounce down onto it, but the weight is forward on the balls of the feet. That's why we practice these warming up movements. Okay, pep talk over. Let's um, do the fast bit. 